Hey guys, this is Anna with another tip. So building off of my last tip around how you can preserve color overrides to nested icons, I wanna show you now how you can create duotone icons. I will add a link to the last tip in the description below, but to kind of rehash what we did, we essentially updated the icons to have the same structure and layer naming so that they're able to preserve the different color overrides that we have set for each button as we switch between the different icons that we're using. Instead of having each of the top nested layer for the icons be named vector, I'm going to have two, one of them named primary and the other secondary. And how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to click into each icon. I'll select out what I want to be the secondary portion, paste it back in, let's unionize that, and then let's call the secondary and the other portion primary. And yeah, I'm basically just going to do that for um, every single icon that I have in here. You'll notice that they're different from the icons I used in the last tip. That's just because I felt like these specific ones would be a better example to show Duotone. Um, and yeah, I'm going to fast forward real quick to when I have all of these set up. All right. so. As you can see, now that I click into the layers of all the icons, I have a primary and secondary portion. I've also gone ahead and just turned the secondary portion into white so that we can visually distinguish between the two. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the colors inside of the icon. So um, I'm going to update maybe the secondary layer to a lighter green for the primary button. Let's also make this a lighter purple in the accent button here. Alrighty, and then let's maybe also make this a lighter green here. Cool. And now when I drag out an instance of this button component, you can see that as I switch between the different kinds of buttons, there's now that duotone to the icon, and then it also works when I switch between the different icons. And that is just because of this um, new updated layer names and structure that I have created. So instead of having just one layer at the first degree below, I have two primary and secondary. So yeah, that's my tip. I hope you guys have fun trying this out and let me know how it goes.